Look at the thousands of people here. Look at them. <laughs> I hope I don't. <laughs> it's showing my Activision account summary. <laughs> Update requires restart. Oh, hell yeah. Well. I hope I don't have to cut that part of the stream out. I don't know what it... It showed, like, my fucking account ID and the email and shit. Granted, everybody can see my email. Well, your account ID is what that runs under... I just got an email for starting the fucking game. What is this? Like I, your, uh... I started the game and they sent me a mission briefing. Your account ID is what, uh, your, your, basically your gamer tag is in that game. Interesting. So Update you can complete. have a different account ID from your actual Xbox gamer tag. <clears throat> Connecting to Xbox Live. That's why I had to cut... I had to cut the fucking beginning part of the Fantasy Star Online 2 streams multiple times because I kept accidentally clicking on the uh, login history or whatever, and then it was showing my IP and shit. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why is that a thing? <laughs> Exchanging. Exchanging what? <coughs> the... <coughs> Simon. Price. Price. Can you talk? I can listen. Can you talk? I can listen. Survive's plan is working. The armistice in Verdansk is officially fallen. It's bloody chaos. I haven't even got to the main menu of the game. What is happening? I got a fighting. Operators inbound hot to your position. <laughs> they better be good. They are. Echo 3 1 reporting for duty. Alex, thought you were dead. Still standing. What has happened? For a gunfight. Let's get evil. I feel like there's a whole lot of history between these characters. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Season rewards? Oh boy. What? Oh. I thought it said that I unlocked that. It said for getting rank 155, 5 star general 5. That's a lot of fives. Oh, did you see the cutscene for the multiplayer? Is that what you're looking at? I, I guess. I haven't even... I just, I just got to the fucking main menu. Yeah. Why is the menu the so smooth? Uh, yeah. That's what that means. Voulez-vous coucher? Just call me. What about it? It means, would you like to have sex? In French? Couilles. Et c'est vrai, c'est vrai que les Anglais normalement on est là. Bonsoir, 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 bonsoir. Would you like sex? Nice to meet you. Enchanté is nice to meet you. So the voulez-vous coucher would be, would you like sex? There's a song. It goes voulez-vous coucher au revoir. Would you like sex? Is it au revoir? Hello. Oh, is that goodbye or hello? Au revoir. That's definitely. Right. Pretty uh, sure it's uh, not right. hello. Uh, no. I've only heard it when people are walking away in movies. Yeah, I think it's bot. I think it's a u e v o u i r. There's so many fucking things popping up right now, and I don't, I don't have time to. Read. B o i r. Season um, three battle pass. Goodbye until we meet again. We'll be like, but, again. What? Yeah, so that cutscene um was Ghost, the remake of Ghost, talking to Price and then Alex, who's a guy that uh gets well, for for spoilers, 
um, at the end of the campaign of Modern Warfare, Super you're cabra. trying to blow up like a gas factory because like this Russian general is using gas, uh, like toxic gas, like chlorine gas to kill a bunch of like, uh, it's pretty epic. Fucking Arabic people, Kazakhstan, uh, or I guess Uzbekistan, or no, is it Uzbekistan? Uzbekistan's an actual country. Jeez. Whatever the fucking country is, um, but he's like killing the people and they've been doing this for like 20, 30, it's mainly supposed to be like the Russian version, or like the fictional version of like what the Russians did with Afghanistan, how they like came in and all that, and it's basically kind of like a modern take on that, but, um, Anyways, at the end of it, they're going to blow up this Russian general's gas factory, and, uh, the detonator doesn't work. The detonator's sorted out, and so basically what has to happen is the dude has to go in, uh, the dude has to go in by himself so he can detonate the thing while the, the female, like, resistance leader that the U.S. has branded terrorists, even though they're not terrorists, they're fighting for the freedom of their country from the Russians, a whole bunch of political military horse shit. Um, she's gonna go in and do it, but the guy, Alex, who is CIA, who's been working with them, he basically said, you know, fuck the CIA, I'm not gonna help <laughs> them while they brand these people who are, tr who are fighting for their freedom as terrorists, and so he basically became disavowed, he became a traitor to the U.S. to help these people fight for their freedom and whatnot. Um, and so during the final mission, Yara setting the explosives and whatnot, it gets damaged, and she's like, oh, I need to blow this up, and he's like, no, you need to be the one to kill him, I'll blow it up. He's like, just give me the order, he's like, I followed orders my whole life, this whole touching moment, whatever. And This whole touching moment, is... whatever. Hey, so when did the textures load in? Uh, you, you'd be amazed. They don't. I don't know. Nope, I'm dead. Cool. This just feels like... I feel like I'm playing a knockoff battlefield. It's really weird. They uh, do go for realism. There is bullet drop in, in ground war. Bullet velocity and yeah, bullet drop are a thing. So yeah, I... I, I normally play so ground weird. war in Call of Duty. I haven't played ground war in that fucking game like since it came out. I, think, I don't like it. I think Devin has this game, and Kennedy plays it from... I think she's game sharing with him, so... Because she told me to download the multiplayer. That's the only reason I download it. Um, but anywho, it's presumed... ...that Alex dies. Um, because the factory blows up while he's inside. Well, apparently he got away, but he lost a leg in it. That's why he has a prosthetic leg in that cutscene. And for a long time, people assumed that Alex was supposed to be Ghost because Gaz from the first game. And the main reason why it was is because it was a remake and they've changed a lot of things because it's a remake. So, like, Gaz in the first Call of Duty is a white dude. He's a white, uh, he's a white guy. He's a very typical white dude. Typical white And man. Gaz in Modern Warfare is actually a black guy. He's a police officer that ends up getting caught up in like some terrorist acts. He helps out Price, try and save some civilians. And then Price ends up recruiting him, and at the end of the game you find out that that's actually Gaz. He's referred to by his actual name all the way up till the end. And Price is like, oh, everybody refers to him as Gaz. He doesn't say anything. Seems like he likes the name. And he's gonna recruit him for Task Force 141. For what I assume is going to be the Modern Warfare 2 remake, I imagine they're probably going to make a remake of Modern Warfare 2 as well. I don't think there's been a single time where he hasn't walked out of here without saying shit beforehand. I think anytime someone, anytime someone calls, wants to call him or talk to him or whatever, he just says shit and then walks out and sits in the car and talks to them in the car. So, anyways, uh, because, like, Gaz was changed to a black guy, and you learn some of his backstory, and then you find out at the very end of the game that his name is Gaz, um, but that's actually Gaz, they assume that Ghost 
even though Ghost in the, you know, in Modern Warfare 2 was British, they assume that, okay, well, what they're going to do is because you don't see him die and there's, like, some tattoos that are kind of similar to Ghost, they assume that Alex is basically going to be the remix version of Ghost. But then, like, Ghost came out to be a different character and he was still British and they brought Alex back in that cutscene. Is that an enemy or is that teammate? There's some people who are blue, and then there's some- that person says loading. What the fuck does that mean? What? Is that their username? Probably. Yeah, their fucking username is loading. Yeah, it's because your username runs off your COD account, not your gamer tag. I mean, like my username his is username is loading because he said it to that. Not, I don't think it's really the reason. Yeah, I know. His username is loading. He said his username to loading. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because that's what his COD account username is. Yeah, but it could also... I mean, I'm saying... Even if his gamer tag was loading, that would still... It would still say loading is just that because he said it to. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's just it because it is. And not because it's like the game can't load his fucking username in. <laughs> yeah. That's what he has it set to. Yeah, no, the, the amount of people that I've come across whose fucking username is Riley Reed or Lana Rhodes or some form of porn star's name. How original. Just like all that's like my. That's like I think mine on there is. My username, I think, is just Church. It put a fucking. There's no space in my. Can you not have spaces? And your username? No, in my ass. Yes, my username. I assume you can't have spaces? You can have underscores. That's annoying. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, then. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I get we're supposed to capture the zones. I don't... I can barely read my fucking mini-map or anything. He's red, I'll go towards E. Friendly UAV overhead. Friendly I hear someone. Don't know where, but I hear them. Okay. Where is this leading? The dead end, cool. Bum, bum, ba -da -da, bum, bum. to adjust my sensitivity at some point. Enemy cruise missile incoming. Still not great. We're on charge. I have no idea. I think I'm just going in circles at this point. I ranked up by running around, so we, yeah, I'm back here. Yeah, and the way that the... I'm not sure how, like... Okay, that's... I died because Blue that end. wasn't a real object, apparently. I'm not sure how fluent you are with some of the stuff in that game, but like rank-wise, so your rank, how it works is that you get your rank up to level 55, and then from there you can push forward from 55 to 155, or from 56 to 155. Um, there's no prestiging in that game. And basically what it is, is every season you get reset, once you get past rank 55, every season you get reset back to rank 55. And from 56 to 155, those are your officer ranks, which have challenges tied to them. If you do the challenges tied to said officer ranks, you will get, uh, you will get a unique emblem based on said season. Interesting. Um... And if you get max rank, like what you saw earlier, whenever you first loaded up, you will get a variant that people that only reach rank 155 get. So is there no permanent level for your account that actually shows, it, like, hey, this is person's been playing a lot? Besides just emblems and shit? 
I think on your COD account there is a stat for like your account rank versus your seasonal rank. So like I think I'm seasonal rank like fucking hundred and like fifty six or some shit like that or something. Or account rank one fifty six because I've leveled up between different seasons, but then my seasonal rank is like eighty six or some shit like that. Fuck did he go? How do I get off? Oh no. Everything feels so weird. Fuck. It just feels unnatural every single movement I make. I can fucking okay. Jesus. Number two. Dead. Number nine. Number like an actual nine. mouse or like a computer mouse? No, an actual mouse. Jesus. I didn't know if you had a mouse problem. Yeah, not too long ago, uh, Joe mentioned word of a mouse that she'd seen run across the floor in the bedroom, in the, uh, the bedroom, bathroom, or main bathroom. Master bathroom. And it went in the closet. It was running back from, which I now know where it was coming from. It was coming from our bedroom because I'll eat popcorn in there and they eat seeds, popcorn seeds. Well, I mean, kernels, whatever. But, uh, okay. Then I opened the bottom drawer in the kitchen and it's where we keep all our like dish rags and dish towels and shit. And there's mouse droppings all over inside that motherfucker. I'm like, oh, okay. I just cleaned the uh, silverware tray out the other day. Had mouse droppings in the bottom of the silverware tray. These fucking mouse mice are pissing me off. Well, last night, I got ready for bed. I went in the bedroom, grabbed the bowl off my nightstand. Like, in the middle, like the bottom of my nightstand, the shelf of the nightstand. Brought it in there while I had popcorn going. And I noticed as I looked in the bowl, I walked to the trash can, opened the trash can, I was like, there's no fucking kernels in there. My mouse had done gotten all of them at night. All right, so I washed the bowl out real good so it didn't have any mouse droppings or piss, you know, residue in there. That could be potentially fatal to a human. And uh, I was making my popcorn. First bag, I usually make two bags. Those the bags of popcorn we get don't have much in them. And uh, I heard this noise, and I was like, the fuck is that? So I started walking over towards the uh, laundry room and the cabinet over top of the stove to the left in that corner. Joe had stored, which I knew they were up there, sugar cones for ice cream. Well, I opened the fucking cabinet and this mouse was in the box of sugar cones eating away at these fucking cones. I was like, you motherfucker. Of course, it evidently been eating them for a little while. And uh, Joe hadn't made any uh, sugar cone ice cream cones for probably three weeks or so. They'd been up there for a while. So this mouse runs out, sits up on top of it, because that's usually the cabinet we have all our appliances for cooking in the kitchen, like a waffle maker and sandwich maker and shit like that. And, uh, <coughs> cheese sandwich maker or whatever. <sighs> this mouse runs up on top of the waffle maker, and I reach up there and grab the box to pull it down. This mouse just sits there and watches me pull that box out of the cabinet. Like, hey, what the fuck are you doing with those? I was like, what the fuck am I going to do with these? I was like, all right. I, ain't got, I looked around for a trap and I couldn't find one. I was like, all right, then. Well, I took the cones and stuck them back up there. And let it kind of chew on for another night, you know. I texted Joe. I said, don't come home until you find mouse traps to bring with you. She come home with two four-packs of mouse traps, so eight, eight mouse traps. And I set six of them. 
set one in the bottom drawer with the rags. I set one in the cone box. I took the cones and wrapped them back up in their cellophane wrapper. Shoved them back yeah. up in the bottom of the box. Laid the box on edge so it was enough room for the actual <laughs> trap to flip, to spring. Stuck peanut butter and a Cheerio on there for weight. And I mean, fucking hair trigger set that motherfucker. Stuck it in the box. And then on the shelf below it, there was more mouse droppings. <laughs> A lot of them, so I set it there. I'm not cleaning the mouse droppings up, of course, until I catch them all, because what's the point? There's some shit everywhere again. So I put that there, so I got two in that cabinet, one in that drawer, and then I got to looking because I heard some crunching, like mouth chewing on something by the dryer this morning. Sure enough, I walk in there, and there's mouse droppings on the dryer, back by the hose, and then behind the dryer is a mouse nest that made out of fucking dryer. Mm. Then, well, that's a fire hazard. So I took one, set it. And stuck between the wall and the dryer. And then I went in our bedroom, which I had popcorn last night, so I took a mouse trap and set it, stuck it in the bowl where the popcorn kernels are. I set one in there, and then I set one in our uh, master bathroom closet because if you look in there, if you look in the closet and look around the corner to the left, that's the closet that butts up to the laundry room. Uh -huh. there's, a, there's a gap there that they can come through to get from there to here. So I stuck one right there in the corner in that closet. So, Justin was in there doing his paperwork stuff for his classes, and the ta or on the couch, he said, he hollered here and said, hey, you better check your mouse trap. Did it snap? He goes, one of them did. Well, that one barely caught one by the leg. It looked like it went maybe over it. So I looked up there earlier, and it cleaned off the mouse trap. Didn't, didn't set it off, but it licked it, licked the peanut butter off and got the Cheerio off. And then it looked mm -hmm. like it went back for some of those cones. It went across it, and when it came back, it looks like it came back and it tripped it, or caught its leg. Well, it was still alive and went outside and squashed its skull. Dropped it out, and then Justin reset it, you know, put more shit on it, put it back in the cabinet. And it was pretty small, so I was like, oh my god, this motherfucker's got smaller mice in here. So, just a minute ago, he hollered, set a mouse trap. It sounded like it popped again, so I looked at all of them that I could find. I was like, man, I don't see one. I was like, oh, the one in the drawer. Sure enough, it was, it was the mama mouse. The bigger one. And had her head fucking pinned in there. But she wasn't dead. Her eyes were bulging, but she wasn't dead yet. Took her outside, and I just stomped the living fuck out of her to kill her. Let her out. She she got blood a little bit everywhere. Bob my boot. Gave her stone outside. Mouse trap. Brought it back inside, cleaned the mouse trap up. Reset it, stuck it back up. Or stuck it back in there. That's number two. So we'll see how many more I get. But the, the good thing is the baby mice are big enough that they're eating on actual other food, or have been, so they're not relying just on mama. They don't just die in a you know, nest of starvation before I get them with a the mousetrap so they don't just die and stink the house up. That's what Justin said. I was like, I don't know if these traps are going to work. Might have to go get one of the uh, ones that twist. That when you open them, or when you, yeah, when you open them, there's just a gap they crawl into it. When they land on it, it's a pressure plate. When they hit that pressure plate, it releases it and twists it shut and closes them in. He goes, or you can get some mouse poison. And I was like, yeah, but I don't want them to take that mouse poison off and die somewhere where I can't get to them. They got to smell them before, until the smell goes away. I really don't want to do that. dog gets hold of them? Yeah, or a dog gets hold of them. I didn't think about that. I went outside to take that first one. He says, give it to DJ. I was like, I'm not feeding it to the fucking dog. I said, the dog's probably going to end up with it, but I'm not going to feed it directly to the dog. I'm sure you... Snack. Can... Yuck. But... So hopefully, I'll get the rest of them. I was like, what are the odds of there being just one mama and one baby? I was like, yeah, pretty slim. No one knows what it's like to oh, be the best. Oh I certainly hope she has a small litter. Oh, the mouse has a small litter? Yeah. I got the mama though. That's definitely the mama. She's fucking big. 
And I knew it was a mama because she had a JJ. She didn't have no nuts. Mice are breeding machines. They have a gestating period of 19 to 21 days. Yeah, now I've got pregnant about That's five right. to ten times a year. Mm. And can give birth to a litter of three to fourteen pups. On average, a litter size of six to eight pups. <coughs> so I'm just gonna keep setting traps until I just don't get no mice no more. I got lucky and only had two in the house on Broadway, the rental house of Cass that time. Only had two and I never saw mice again. Never saw. Remnants of mice, nothing. Remnants of mice, my favorite song. Of mice and men. The remnants of my ass. Uh, I'm not doing too hard. I'm not gonna lie. No, there's a big skill curve with that game. I may or may not be like 0 and 10. Yeah, there's a big skill curve with that game, and ground war does not help, period. The other reason Skill is... curve on this game curves more than my dick. I got horse feed. In the... Um, what? In there, you said you're playing ground war? Is there a cabin fever mode? I don't. A playlist called cabin fever? I don't know. Ow. It would it would be in your in like the on the main screen like whenever you go there's like ground war quick play all that there should be one that's just by itself called cabin fever oh, that one I think it's a bunch of smaller maps. Yeah oh, shit oh he's hurting. Somewhere. Enemy support helo in the air. We have a personal radar drop securing Alpha. Oh shit, oh, I was messing with my audio. But I don't know what I just did. Oh, you fucker, as soon as I saw him. Enemy UAV overhead. Not that I would have killed him anyway. <sighs> Not much I can do. that come from? No. There's no way I'm gonna get that dude. Oh, shit. That lag. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't aim, but also, holy shit. My dad's in so I'm Where? Where the fuck? What? It said I was getting shot from the other side. Where the fuck? It said I was getting shot from the complete opposite direction. Than what he was actually shooting me from. <coughs> That's weird. Ah, oh, the bitch is dead. Spawned and died instantly. I'm tired of getting this fucking shell. There's shit happening all how'd around that, me. How'd that do for my, uh. I'm on 251 points. Hopefully, I only need to do one more of these. I cannot see anything that's like 100 yards of well, even 100 feet away, if even that. Like probably even less than that. Like anytime I'm looking out into the distance, trying to spot enemies, it looks blurry as fuck. So I can't really see anything. Oh, 
fuck is playing? Good enough by Evanescence. I, I saw a fucking hanging lamp. I thought it was a person in a crawlway. No! Bitch, where? See a French person spazzing out. Yeah, no, no, no. I didn't want to, I tried to explain something. No, no, I'm actually English, but I live in France. Oh, that hurt. Kid. When you're a kid, you're spelling your accent. You're a kid, so you're, you're a squid, fuck. you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Un croissant. <laughs> I spoke with a fake accent. <laughs> I can't tell where fucking anyone is the entire time. Unfortunate. Exactly like Battlefield, that's the reason I don't play Battlefield. <laughs> also colorblind. <laughs> Oh, I can't see it. Oh, fucking hazy, my dude. And now it's dark. Wouldn't it be realistic if we made their eyes adjust to the light so they can't see fucking shit from it going in between buildings? It'd be so cool. <laughs> Does the mini. Do we ever have, like, a UAV or anything? Oh, speak of the devil. Enemy UAVs. Oh, do you, doesn't help do you me, not? But... Do you not have a mini map? I have a mini map. It just never pings for enemies. Oh yeah, no, because enemies. I I'm fairly certain if enemies shoot without a suppressed weapon, they still don't appear on the mini map. Yeah, well, the enemy has a UAV right now, so that's good. Yeah. No. If, yeah. If you don't have the UAV, it's just like all the doesn't ping. Yeah, I think that Xbox just an issue. No. Uh, unless the game is currently crashing, I think I just got like kicked from the session or something. I'm in a black screen. Hmm. Nope, the Xbox frozen, is frozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never had an issue with Modern Warfare freezing. Period. <laughs> I've actually never. That's the one game I've never had an issue it, with. That. So yeah, I think your Xbox is fucking old. 2013 refurbished, original fucking model. It uh, it's just black screen right now. I think it froze in the middle of like kicking me or something. I don't think Brandon can sit in here for more than like 20 minutes without having to say shit and then run outside and sit out there for like an hour. The popular man. Same person every time I can guarantee you. Beg pardon. Well, this is fun. <laughs> I like that it says I have one beer this whole time, for some reason. All right, so this is the last ignition I gotta do. Cool. I would love to like not have my Xbox. Frozen. Nope, froze again. Oh. You must have an active network connection to play Xbox Live matches. Don't I know it? Yeah, that's something that I've seen pop up time and time again on that game for some reason. <laughs> what? I think. I think for the night. 